Welcome to Harder Meal Dental Clinic. My name is Sönke Harder and in this presentation I will show you how bone grafting works. The patient in this case is an older patient. As we can see there are a lot of stains on the teeth, we have grinded teeth and we have a missing incisor. Before he was extracted the missing tooth has a long history of different severe problems, leading to an intense inflammatory process around the root and as a result we have an intense loss of bone and soft tissue in the area where the tooth was extracted. With regard to an implant therapy, it is very important to restore first the bone of the jaw and after that to have an sufficient soft tissue around this bone to provide a natural and aesthetic result. In the top view we can see we have a three-dimensional defect with a massive loss of volume of hard and soft tissue. After elevating the flap we can see the huge dimension of the defect in the bone here marked in the red area. Now we have to restore this defect and uh, ideally we use for this procedure the patient's own bone. So the question is where to harvest this bone? Here marked with a red rectangle we see the donor side, an area at the posterior region of the lower jaw where we can harvest enough bone in a very good quality to replace the missing bone at the bony defect in the upper jaw. This intraoperative picture shows how the bone block is separated from the lower jaw. To free the bone, oscillating instruments and very fine chisels are used. Now the bone block is transferred at the recipient side of the upper jaw. There it is adapted at the geometry of the defect and the bone block is then fixated by two titanium screws. After three months healing period, when we take a look at this picture, it is hard to imagine that there has been a bony defect in this size and geometry as we have seen before. Now everything's prepared for having an implant. So as we can see in the x-ray image, the implant is placed and just in a good position. Now we have to wait for another three months and after that the implant can be uncovered. So in the next step the soft tissue around the implant has to be formed. Normally we do this by having a fixed temporary crown which is screwed into the implant. For the patient this is very comfortable because he has a fixed temporary solution until the definite restoration is fabricated. The definite restoration is a screwed single crown made of ceramic. In this picture we see in the top view the screw axis hole on the pallet side of the crown. So this will be covered by a composite resin and after polishing it is clearly invisible. And in this x-ray image we can see the sufficient position of the implant and a very healthy bone around the implant and if we have a view without the x-ray image we can see that we have a very aesthetic and a very natural result. Thank you very much for your kind attention.